Hey guys, what's up? I uh, I see you want to make a cool intro in Sony Vegas, and surprisingly, it's actually not that hard. It's actually pretty simple. I mean, I was making them way too basic until about a year ago when I learned like three things you can do to totally uh, blow to the water any of your, your you know quote unquote competition. All right, so I'm gonna get it started up here. I like to make my background first, and uh, black is boring in my opinion. So one thing I do is sometimes I download like police lights flashing off Google and I like totally blur it out and make it a background. I crop out like anything I don't want and stuff and then I add len like, you know, whatever. And then I make that my background. So like flashing blue and like red lights and stuff and that looks kind of cool. You can see that technique being used in like the pep rally videos and all that kind of cool stuff. But for now, I'm going to make um, just a colored background. So I'm going to grab just something like this, like a, a linear gradient where it goes from one color to another. And I'm going to go side to side, grab the one and two poles here. And I'm going to make two kind of like a an earthy orange. And then make one kind of like a red. So we kind of a popsicle looking thing going on. And then I'm going to grab this elliptical transparent to black. And I'm going to throw it on top. And then I'm just doing this out of my own stylistic choice. You can do this however you want. The idea of this tutorial is that you kind of, you learn the tips and tricks. But you make your own. Um, not totally copy mine. Uh, so I'm going to add like three more points here with the plus button so I get more of a, a gradual point and then I'm going to go to this one I'm going to darken it number one and then number two make that one pretty black make number one a little little more transparent and then three make it pretty close to totally transparent and make four totally transparent and it looks a little more gradual nice now. All right, um, so that was kind of like a good gradient. In fact, I might even save that. I like that one quite a lot. I'm gonna call this um, good vignette. I'm not sure if that's how you spell vignette, but it might be. And go save preset and exit out of that. Anyhow, so that's my background. That looks pretty good. And then you're gonna run, you're gonna run into a problem here where you realize you only have one more layer left, which I mean you might only need one more. But I hit insert. I'm gonna go insert video track insert video track or you can go um, as it says here you can go control shift Q anyhow so let's start adding some text I'm gonna go into my legacy text text and titles that one if you're in the newer versions of Vegas I don't really use it too much uh, I just like using the classic legacy it's a lot easier to work with much simpler faster in my opinion and I'm gonna make this um, uh, intro for uh, kind of a secret channel I have going on which is called Warren Show TV uh, you'll be the first to know about it I haven't told anyone about that one actually. And uh, there's gonna be some stuff on there pretty soon. Anyhow, I'm gonna size down until I think it looks good. Right about there, I'm just using this. I've highlighted the number and I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse to do this, by the way. Then I uh, might just do the same thing here. Grab the text and start scrolling through them. Actually, that looks kind of good just like that. I might even might even use that. This is Consolas. Well, I've never made a decision on a text that fast before in my whole life, I don't think. I'm going to go into the outlines, I'm going to put a little black outline on it, make the width tiny, make the feathering tiny too, um, and then, eh, yeah, that, that actually looks pretty good. Then I might add a, a shadow to it, I might offset it a little less, by default I think it's a little too, I'm going to go maybe to uh, 0 0.0019, or, no sorry, 0 0.19, to 0 0.019. I think that's kind of a good offset for it. And that, I mean, to some people, already looks good enough. But there's a couple things you can do to spruce it up even better. You can go to Bump Map. There's all these different ones I've already made here. We'll use the um, one that comes default, the Spotlight one. As you can see, you've added a virtual light, which looks super cool. Um, and you can also actually put a Bump Map on there by turning it up like this. But I'm actually going to keep the Bump Map off just so I can make a virtual light. Like this, I'm gonna shine it on Warren Show TV, and I might actually turn the focus up a tiny bit so it doesn't black out the side so much. Turn up the intensity maybe a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn down the focus again because I've done that. Ambiance just maybe a little bit, and then the shininess of the text. And now, and then you know what? I'm gonna try to put a tiny bit of a bump on there. And there you go. I mean that looks. That looks quite snazzy. I mean, this is no After Effects. Remember, this is no 3D elements yet. I mean, it looks pretty 3D in a sense. And so now we have this 
blank clip of it just sort of saying Warren Show TV. We want to make it do something kind of cool, right? So I'm going to go uh, to here and uh, actually in a perfect world, this vignette should be on top of everything, I think. So I'm going to put it in the very top layer. Whoops. Very top layer. Why isn't it going? One more layer. One more layer. Go, go, go. There we go. Um, it's actually a little dark. I'm going to just tone it down a little bit. Just like that much. Okay. And uh, these extra layers, what you can do with these is you can uh, copy this new text that you've made and you can paste it on top of each other like this. And uh, what this is useful for is if I just go in here and I turn off these outlines and the shadows, uh, what I've got now is just a layer of this um, white text. And what I'm actually going to do to it, um, oh yeah, I also want to turn off the bump map, is um, I'm going to lower the opacity quite a bit so it's a bit transparent. And I'm going to go to the Gaussian blur and then hit medium blur. And then I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm actually gonna do this. Look at look at how cool this looks. If it works. Oh, did that work? Yeah, it kind of worked. I'm gonna make it go up and down, kind of like that. See how cool that is? I'm actually gonna put that beneath it, so it doesn't distort the top layer. See, that looks cool. It's like kind of shiny, like like that. Kind of like lens flares almost. It's sort of like um water in a sense. Now, um, I mean, that's looking kind of cool, but I'm going to put this one step further. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of this little flare I've done right here. I can easily make another one of those in like two seconds um, because I want to, everything I do to this layer, I want to apply to that, um, that, that flashy layer. So we're going to perfect this one first. So we're going to make this fly in at the very beginning of, of the shot. So I'm going to zoom in here with the scroll mouse and I'm going to make it fly in for about, I think three frames is usually pretty good. And then on, on the first frame, I'm going to make, whoops, that's not what I want. You want to make sure you've got this um, size about center selected so I can go whoosh, right into the middle like that. And then a couple frames in, it is flying in so we watch in full motion Whoosh. yay um also perfect world this would have a bit of a a flying in um blur to it so i'm gonna grab a radial blur and stick it on there and then you can see it does a sort of uh, flying kind of look to it and then i'm gonna go to the first frame what do we do three frames yeah one two three i'm gonna put this lock feature on so i can see where i am in the time frame and two three yeah, that's the third frame in. We'll make another keyframe. And on this one, I want to make the strength all the way down so that on the first two frames here, there's a blur on it. Like that. And I'm going to zoom in to this one and make the strength a lot higher. That way, when it's flying in, that's almost too much because it kind of looks like it sucks in the blur by the end. Um... gradually go down and then that one looks pretty good now all right let's take a look all right that looks pretty cool and then I'm gonna make it kind of like slowly zoom in I'm also gonna figure out how long I want this clip to go for so and that's long enough what is that two seconds we'll make it a perfect two seconds how about that two second intro beautiful you can make it five seconds ten seconds whatever doesn't make a difference I'm gonna go to the end of the clip now and I'm gonna make it so it zooms in so make a keyframe and then it's gonna zoom in a little bit like that so now it goes like this Whoosh. boom in you know that's a little too fast I want to make it five seconds uh, where's five Ooh, there it is five seconds on the dot stretch it out and then just put this keyframe at the end again so it looks like this boom and it zooms in slowly whoops didn't put our background in for long enough all right and then we'll make that one kind of fade out like that and fade out like that whoops fade out like that there we go so now it fades out 
like that. Okay. What else could we do at the beginning here when it's flying in? We can make it flash. How about that? Let's make it uh, the transition. We'll make that flash, soft blur, like that. Not quite long enough. Make it one frame longer. Ugh, now we kind of got rid of the fly in, hey? Well, we'll just lengthen that up a little bit and bring this one forward a little bit. Boom. Cool, cool. And then we'll also have to move up um, these keyframes here, a couple of frames. Where is it all the way in? This one. So it just has to move over one notch. And then it's perfect, perfect. Whoa. And then this last frame it has to be nothing. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Bang. Bang. Kind of cool. And then now I'm saying that looks pretty cool. So I'm actually going to go uh, copy that again. And then I'm going to paste it again. And this is where we get to do our beloved um, kind of, you know, the thing we did earlier. You know what I'm talking about. So we'll grab our Gaussian blur, medium blur, and I'll just turn on the vertical. Kind of like, that's a little much. Kind of like that. Turn off the bump map. Actually, it looks better with the bump map, I think. All right. So what do you think? We had this kind of cool looking intro. Obviously, you'd add some sound to it, but I mean, well, I mean, that might not be too obvious for some people, but I, I would hope you add some sound. It's kind of boring without it. So if this video helped you out, just give me a subscribe, like it, share it, whatever. Do whatever you can to help out. And if you uh, want to ask me any questions, just ask me on Twitter at Macworld Media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.